Scientists around the world are racing to complete testing of coronavirus vaccines. And tonight, this is fascinating, we have an inside look at the final phase of development. Two U.S. pharmaceutical giants, Pfizer and Moderna, are in phase three. So what's it really like to be part of the Pfizer trial? For Dr. Victoria Smith, who practices family medicine near New Orleans, COVID-19 is personal. She's lost three patients to the virus. I'm not an immunologist, um, but by being part of a trial, I can be part of that research front as well. Dr. Smith. In late July, Dr. Smith became one of the first of 30,000 participants needed for Pfizer's phase three vaccine trial. She received her first dose at Auctioner Medical Center in Louisiana. It's a double blinded study, meaning neither she nor the researchers know whether she received the vaccine or a placebo. CBS News got an exclusive look at Auctioner's phase three trial site. Every week, Pfizer sends them packages of the vaccine and placebo. To be approved by the FDA, a COVID-19 vaccine must prevent or decrease the severity of the disease in at least 50% of vaccinated people. Dr. Katherine Edwards is on Pfizer's vaccine safety board. Once a week, the five members of the committee video chat to carefully look through data for adverse effects, especially serious ones such as hospitalizations. Mild reactions are common. You may have a sore arm or you may have a little tenderness or, or you may have a little headache or you may have a little fever. So those are things to be expected. It's just your immune system getting tweaked and you're making a better response. Trial participants are required to self-monitor and log their symptoms on an app reporting their temperature and any reactions daily for a week after each injection. And then will continue to log any symptoms on a weekly basis for two years. Mm. Just amazing. And of course, Liam, you need a wide range of people to participate in these trials. It's going to be very important in finding a vaccine. Let's hope.